Originally, I was going to make two separate videos for both of these uh, these athletes. Well, technically three, because I want to talk a little bit about another one that passed away. Um, I just say, you know what? Screw it. Let's just combine uh, these three athletes into one video. And um, unfortunately, it's not the greatest video to combine uh, athletes in because it's pretty sad. How's it going guys, Mr. Game of Fame here, and today we have another episode of Sports Talk, and this episode um, probably is one of the worst weeks to be a sports fan, because although the Euro started, and with Copa America, and we had the finals of, the NH of NHL and the NBA, it doesn't matter, because we have lost three athletes. One of them, I just want to quickly talk about, is Kimbo Slice. That uh, he just recently passed away at the age of 42. Um, I don't follow MMA. I do want to follow MMA very, very soon. But I, I didn't know. I, I knew who he was. I heard the name Kimbo Slice before. And I actually didn't know that he was actually in the hospital. He, yeah, just very sad. I, I heard the news. I saw the news. So, uh, yeah, very sad right there. My thoughts and prayers go out to his family and friends, um, but two bigger, like, I'm not saying Kimbo Slice is just, is a one-off, like, whatever, throwaway, no, he, he was a pretty big MMA fighter, v uh, pretty big, I'm just saying, like, when you compare these two names, like, you, these, these are fairly big names right here that I'm about to talk about as well, so, I'm going to talk about uh, one that happened last week, and that was Muhammad Ali, aka well, he was born Cassius Clay, um, passed away on the third of June. So we all know who Ma Muhammad Ali is. I'm not a boxing fan. I don't watch it. The only fight I saw was Pacquiao versus Mayweather, which Mayweather, which was an absolute waste, waste of money. And just, yeah, disappointing to say the least. But, you know, I, I, I knew who Muhammad Ali was, obviously. Like, who wouldn't, yeah, I, I knew who Muhammad Ali was. He is one of the biggest sports figures in history. And he was, he passed away at the age of 74. I didn't know he was only 74. It sounds like you've heard the name for years and years, and he was only 74 when he passed away. Very, very tragic. Um, Ali is just a huge sports name. It was all over the news. Sports center were just talking about him the whole day, which, do you blame him? No, no. One of the biggest sports figures in history, just we we lost a, like one of the biggest histories, um, big biggest history, biggest sports um figure in history, and you know it doesn't matter. Like I said, if you if you f uh, follow uh you know boxing or not, you know Muhammad Ali, you know his story, you, you just yeah you just know the fighter, um. I didn't actually know a little bit about himself outside of the ring, to be honest. I didn't know that he was actually um, very nice and a nice person, and he would and he was a very helpful. I didn't know that part. I actually didn't know that part. I knew about his whole issue about being involved in the uh, Vietnam War, and then he had to go to, to to jail, and he had to lose his uh, his title. Um, I didn't, I didn't know about some of the other stuff as well. I just knew that he was a really, really good fighter, a really good fighter. He has put on one of the greatest boxing matches of all time with, um, with, uh, Joe Frazier. He put, you know, also the rumble in the jungle with George Foreman. Uh, he also had the infamous picture when he st stood over a uh, Sonny Liston you know, the infamous photo, it's everywhere, you, like, you know where it is, you know where it is, um, but yeah, um, yeah, just 
very very tragic he um yeah i don't know what else to say it's just very very sad to see that he is um they passed away at the age of 74 so so yeah that's that's really it about muhammad ali just like he had some um mental issues he had some health issues um and uh, even uh, the day before, although he was in the hospital, he was still like the everyone thought, okay, you know, it's he's fine, he's gonna be fine, don't worry about it. It got it's not like it got worse and worse and worse, and he he lost his life. So that's all I'm gonna say about Muhammad Ali. Very tragic, very sad. I was I was shocked to be honest, and. That's really it. So my thoughts and prayers go out to his friends and family. And it, is, it was a sad day for sports, for sports fans in general. Um, And what's even worse for a sport that I do follow and I do also know who the, who this is. Um, I am a, a big hockey guy. I love hockey. Um, we uh, yesterday on, on the 10th of June, we lost Mr. Hockey, Mr. Hockey, Gordy Howe, at the age of 88, he is just, if you don't know who he was, he was just, how about this, how about we just tell you how long he played from, he played from 1946 to 1980. That's spanning over four decades. He he retired at the age of 52. He retired from hockey at the age of 52. He was a 23-time All-Star. He holds so many records. He was undoubtedly, undoubt, undoubtedly, when he retired, the greatest player. And then Wayne Gretzky came along. But he was still one of the greatest players players to ever play the game and yeah it's just ridiculous you know he even has his own you know a little you know he has his own hat trick the Gordy Howe hat trick it's when you score a goal it's when you score an assist when you have an assist and you fight in the same game it's amazing right <laughs> but yeah uh Gordy Howe passed away at the age of 88 um played for Detroit Pretty much his whole career just played so long with them. He also played. I have, I have some of this, like the teams they played play for, uh, for the Austin Arrows and the WHA, the New England Whalers and also in the WHA, the Hartford Whalers in the NHL. Um, he also played for the Omaha Knights in the USHL. That's when he, in his earlier uh, years, earlier parts of his career. Um. He played NHL in the NHL games. He played 1,767 games, and he had 1,850 points. Ridiculous! He scored 801 goals and 1,049 assists, and he also had 1,685 penalty minutes. Crazy! Absolutely crazy! But. But yeah, just an absolute beast. Uh, just how he could, how he played that long is just ridiculous. Like, I don't, like forties, like thirties, thirty something years you play for. Oh no, wait, hold on. I um yeah, just ridiculous. He played for over 20, 25 seasons. Ridiculous. A professional hockey, professional hockey. And just how he, yeah, just how he still, how he just kept going, kept going until he retired. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Um, uh, some of his, I, I know some of his health issues were in the greatest, even like, like last season or something like that. It wasn't all that good. So, so he was in, but, you know, unfortunately he passed away at the age of 88. 88. He lived to 88. That's, um, that's something right there. He is he is an iron he's an 
an Iron Man. He is um, what's the nickname that Lou Gehrig got? Like the Iron Horse, something like that. Yeah. So very, just I believe it was Lou Gehrig. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we lost Gordy Howe, unfortunately. So just sad, very sad to see that we lost another icon, another athlete. And within a week, it's it's crazy. Just 2016, what is happening? We lost so many, not only athletes, but you know we lost Prince and David Bowie. We also lost Dave Mira, which uh, which was when I I, I was like, oh my god, no, because I I love Dave Mira and I played the video game, so yeah, but but yeah. Another um, another loss. So my thoughts and prayers go out to to Gordy Howe, Gordy Howe's friends and family. Very very sad. So that's it, you guys. Um, that's really it. I don't have anything to say. Like what you, what you guys thought, thinking about the questions. So that's really it. That is really it. So that's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe for more content on this channel. And I'll see you guys next time.